Hey there, everybody. It looks like it's working here. Hey, it's Tuesday morning, 7 o'clock. You know what that means, right? Time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Today, we're talking about finding freedom. Be sure and stay tuned. We'll be back right after this. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. My name's Tom. Make sure all that's working. Yeah, it's working okay. My name's Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Listen, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do as Catherine and Gail and Joe have already done. Leave a comment. Say hi, hello, good morning. Um, take your glasses off your head. Whatever. It's all good. I like it all. And uh, as Joe usually says, yes, good morning, America. And in fact, the entire internet. Listen, when we are done, if and only if you get value from our time together today, I would appreciate if you'd give the video or the audio, the old heart, stars, thumbs up, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you watch or listen because the show is available just about everywhere. All right, one more sip of fuel and then we're going to get going here. And what I should have been doing then instead of sipping the coffee was getting back over here so I could see the quote. Got the wrong screen up over here, so I can't see the quote of the day, but it's coming. We'll get there. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, this is such a good one. Yesterday, um, well, yesterday was yesterday. Today is today. Quote today comes from Robert Frost. Freedom lies in being bold. Freedom lies in being bold. And I had the opportunity yesterday to talk to a, um, a young man who, when I explained to him, I didn't even really fully explain to him what I do, but we're, we're talking about what I do. He was so excited by that. Wow, that's really cool. That's, that's how do you get into that? And the, the thought that that, that conversation kind of left me with was, Here's someone who has been following a script, right? Who, who's been, been given this checklist, right? I'm not saying he's doing anything wrong. I'm just saying this is what's happened, right? Here's the checklist. Here's what you're supposed to do in order to be successful in life. And by all accounts, by all appearances has done all of those things. And yet when someone comes along, that has gone counter to that, who's flown into the wind instead of along with the wind, it's mind-boggling maybe? I, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's so unusual to find someone who wants to go against the grain. So, we, well, let me say that a different way. Lots of people want to go against the grain. Few people will, right? But the, the great thing that comes from that is the freedom that's associated with that. And and just in a fit of transparency here today, I'm going to tell you guys a story. I've probably told it once or twice in the 12 years I've been doing this podcast. So you're in for a treat today. Hey, Stacy, good morning. When I was in the 10th grade, I remember this day very clearly when I was in the 10th grade I when I grew up I grew up on a farm right and, and overalls were a very utilitarian clothing choice worked great for what we were doing right they were very comfortable I enjoyed wearing them had lots of them but be that as it may in the 10th grade, when you're in going to school and, you know, not always the best fashion choice. Well, so I got up one morning uh, and, and what I loved wearing more than anything else when it was cold was a hoodie under some overalls. Because you stick your hands in there, keep your hands warm, got the hoodie. I mean, all right, great choice all around. 
That's what I put on. I remember walking, just about to leave my room to, to, to go out and go to school and stopped and looked in the mirror and thought, well, I wonder who's going to give me a hard time about this today. And then I realized I don't care. I don't care if they, in fact, I think the words that flew through my head were, if they don't like it, they don't have to look at it. This is what I'm comfortable in. This is what I'm going to wear. This is what I'm going to, this is who I'm going to be today. Right? I won't say I've never worried about it since then, but it was a very f freeing moment. Now, we're talking about freedom today, a very freeing moment in the way that I thought. Because I realized that while other people can have an opinion and we can choose to let their opinion influence us or not, right? But at the end of the day, the person that you owe is the person you look at in the mirror every morning, right? So when we, when the, the thing that's appealing, the reason that people get so enamored with this idea of, of going against the grain is because of the freedom that it provides, and yet, we're still afraid to do it. So, my question for you today, and I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, look at that. We're almost out of time already. I'm going to go ahead and give you your question of the day to think on. What choices are you making? Are the choices that you're making today aligning with what you say your goals are? I know. That's a challenging question, isn't it? I ask that I, I ask that to new coaching clients a lot. Tell me about the choices you made in the last week. Now, you've told me that this is what you want to create. Are those choices the kind of choices you need to make in order to achieve that? So, and as these things come up during the day to day, and they come up when I mean, we have hundreds of them every day, as you have choices presented to you today, I want you to think about: Is this a bold choice? Am I making the choice that aligns with my goal, that's congruous with what I say that I want, or am I choosing something that's safe so that I don't, that I don't get a lot of grief, so that people don't question me about what I'm doing, so that I kind of go along with the flow? And sometimes your choice is aligned with the flow also. That's fine. I'm not saying every choice has to go against the flow, but don't be afraid of going against the flow. And once you stop worrying about all that other stuff, a whole new world opens up to you. It's amazing. All right, that's it for today. The radio show is coming up at the top of the hour. Be sure and tune in for that, WTKIRadio.com, or, <coughs> excuse me, you can find me on Facebook. I'm pretty sure, 96% sure we'll have a live stream today. Uh, but follow me here on Facebook, Tom Rigsby, the unashamed nonconformist. You can watch the live stream there, uh, or listen to the audio stream on WTKIRadio.com. Don't forget, you know, one person who is struggling with making choices that go against the grain, share this video, this one video with one person. That's all I ask. I can see who you share it with. So share wisely. All right, that's it. You guys have a terrific Tuesday. I'll talk to you on the radio show and then be back here again tomorrow. Take care.